Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is HD StarCraft, and I'm here to bring you guys uh, some professional StarCraft II replays. I know some of you have been clamoring to see more of the top-end replays rather than the ones that I've been casting uh, lately, which have been more of the fun ones that obviously I did the pain user versus fa special uh, a couple days ago, and that was pretty fun for me, but I know you guys want to see some really high-level games, and here we are. This is going to be from IPL5's Korean Regional, and for those of you guys who follow IPL, you know all about it. You should know all about it already, but I'll explain it. It, you know, they hold the regionals in different areas, and this is the Korean one. So, Koreans all competing here for a spot to get seated into the actual tournament. And uh, that's basically what I'm going to be casting for you guys here. I picked one set out from the replay pack, and uh, I picked this one out because I saw Liquid Xenio as the, uh, well, Green Zerg up here at the top left hand corner. His opponent is Slayer's MMA, and I think that's. <laughs> that's gonna be a really good matchup. It's a Terran versus Zerg again, but it is MMA, and you don't always get opportunities to cast MMA. One of the top, top tier Terran players. Zenio also a very accomplished Zerg himself, so this should be a pretty good matchup here as the barracks is coming out at the front door. Uh, Drone just comes in right now trying to do a little bit of harass. And I'll go ahead and set myself to busy. I always manage to forget that, so I apologize. But it looks like we're going to have a second barracks coming up here. Will Zenio see the second Rax? He does. Just barely with the vision of that drone as it was making its way uh, rounds around the natural expansion. And it catches a glimpse of the double Rax here. And so MMA is planning to open up with early aggression here on Entombed Valley. Uh, it's it's a good build. Two racks is something that you will see a lot of aggressive Terrans using. And since Zergs are always 15 hatching, you know, the two racks can be a, a real punisher to that greedy Zerg style. But at the same time, Zergs know how to defend this as well. You're going to have to pull a lot of drones when the uh, SCV comes. You do not want to let the bunker finish. And if you can get this SCV kill, that's also very nice as well. He wasn't able to do it. So the barracks should finish up on time here. And there it is. So the second barracks is now done, and Zenio knows all about this. He knows it's coming. He's got a spawning pool on the way. As soon as his pool finishes, he needs to make a queen at the natural expansion. He needs to pull drones from the main to the natural to block the uh, bunker from coming down, or at least harass the SCV building the bunker, and uh, eventually Maynard those drones over to the natural, assuming he's able to successfully defend this. MMA, meanwhile, <laughs> kind of taking a sweet time, I guess, killing off the potential expansion extractor, but, you know, that's not really a big uh, thorn in his side at all. He really needs to get in here and do as much damage as possible. And here comes the bunker on the way, on the high ground. The drone's immediately getting pulled off the line here. Gonna surround the bunker. MMA, you know, doesn't... Oh, what the... He's pulling all of his SCVs from his uh, base here, and he's gonna go all in. This is crazy. MMA taking a page out of uh, Marine King Prime's book here and is gonna go all in with SCVs and Marines here, and this is all out. Gonna try to end the game right now. Has the bunker coming up, and all of a sudden now Zenio's got to pull all of his drones off the line. It's going to be a worker on worker warfare here. And two bunkers are now coming up. The Marines getting surrounded by drones, however, and Zerglings are out as well. The Marines are in a lot of trouble. And all the Marines have gone down now. MMA's going to lose a ton of SCVs. And the question here is, did he kill off enough drones to kind of mitigate the losses of all of his workers? And I don't, I don't think so, man. He's now at an 8 to 11. There's a million Zerglings on the field, uh, you know, relatively a million for this early on in the game. And it is not looking good for MMA at all. He's going to have to bunker up the front door right now, maybe lift off this second barracks and place it right here, help to kind of funnel off the Zerglings. He has killed off the extractor, gonna try to run the Marines behind the mineral stacks here where they have a little bit more cover to play with, but the Zerglings are coming in. Nevertheless, Zenio knows that he can take out MMA right now in this best of three, this very first game of the best of three, can go to him if he can uh, end it right here. And he smells the blood. He's going for the Marines. There's only two left, but his Zerglings have been whittled down thanks to the micro from MMA. And now, MMA, if he can just wall off that front area, get a, a command center down, and convert over to a more macro style, he might not be entirely out of the game yet. He is suffering hugely in the SCV count. It is six workers down right now, and uh, Zenio actually mining gas uh, out of the natural. So, let's see. He threw up this gas actually after the bunker harass was dealt with. And, you know, sometimes when you see that kind of bunker harass, you get an early gas to deal with um, the, the bunker and then you can counterattack. But since, 
Sin Zenio already dealt with it, and then he got the gas. It leads me to believe he's going to try to end the game real quick here with some type of speedling attack, maybe even throwing some banelings for good measure. He's throwing up a spine crawler right now, so it's not all out, you know, aggressive. He's going to have a little bit of defense to work with, but I really think he has a possibility here to do some quick, speedy damage with his Zerglings. And if he gets a second gas, oh yeah, there it is, second gas on the way. He's got to be planning some type of huge attack here. It's a lot of gas for this early on in this stage of this game. He knows he's already ahead. Most Zergs would probably opt to just drone up at this point. And this is going to be pretty interesting. The command center now coming up with the natural. MMA is really going to have to wall off the frontal area here because there's a lot of Zerglings coming out. Eight Zerglings on the way. Uh, he's got a light contain right now in front of Xenio's base. But this is going to be breaking broken pretty easily. And <laughs> the Zerglings are going to get a full-on surround here. MMA is not even paying attention. Wow. That was really bad, and um, you know, once in a while, even the pro players will have a little bit of a fluke themselves, but uh, I really hope MMA, for his sake, is prepared for the incoming Baneling bus. As I predicted, there's a Baneling nest coming down, Zergling speed about to finish, and you know, the sad thing for MMA is those Marines, they died, but they didn't even get to see the Baneling nest. They didn't see anything, not even the two gases in the back, so MMA has no idea this is coming. And if he does not wall off the frontal section immediately, I really don't know how he's going to be able to hold off this attack. Um, trying to gas up to get the double upgrades right now on his um, on his tech labs, but uh, you know he I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't lifted off this barracks yet. Lift it off, place it here, place a third barracks down because this might be coming, and indeed it is. And right now he's moving out with marines, but they will not see the banelings. Oh god, if only the light radius there was a little bit bigger for marines, but unfortunately it is not. And now Zenio is going to come in, no, he might actually fall back to dispatch of these marines first. I don't know if I agree with that, I think he could have just went in, but hey, he wants to be safe, and now the bailings are revealed, but at least he dispatches all the marines, and there we go. MMA says, oh man, I am totally out of it. And it all started with the, uh, the crazy all-in uh, from MMA, and he just pulled all of his SCVs off the line, I just really want to look at that one more time. And, you know, here it is, all of his SCVs coming. Excuse me, uh, I think I might have rewinded a little bit much there. There we go. All the SCVs coming in, and uh, I wonder what prompted MMA to just go for such a bold and sporadic decision. You know, I will say, you can't bunker up this entire thing completely because of the supply depot there. So, you know, unlike Shakur's Plateau, it might make sense to, you know, triple bunker it and, and be really aggressive. I don't know if it really made that much sense here. Um, but he tried. It didn't work out too well for him. We'll see what happens in game two. This is the best of three, guys. And uh, like I said, hope you guys enjoy the high-level StarCraft 2 plays. See you guys in video two.